Julius Avery is the director of the superhero drama movie Samaritan on Amazon Prime Video. The film's main cast includes Sylvester Stallone, Javen Walton, and Pillu Asbic. The movie takes place in the made-up Granite City, which was previously home to the superhero Samaritan. Years after the supposed demise of the hero, however, a young kid by the name of Sam embarks on a search for Samaritan as the city implodes due to oppression, crime, and economic turmoil. The film's conclusion will leave viewers perplexed since it blurs the distinctions between good and evil. So, if you're looking for information on Samaritan's ending, look no further. Spoilers follow. Samaritan, the heroic good-hearted character, and Nemesis, the villainous twin brother who is out to destroy the city, are introduced in the opening scene of Samaritan. Residents set fire to the brother's home after the brother's abilities damaged the city. The twins engaged in a dramatic struggle after their parents perished in the fire. Nemesis created a hammer that was potent enough to hurt his nearly unbreakable brother. Nemesis was ultimately vanquished, and Samaritan was said to have died defending the city. Granite City is infested with crime nearly 25 years after the death of the superhero. Sam, a little boy who lives in an apartment building with his single mother, frequently gets into trouble. Samaritan, whom Sam idolizes, is still alive, in Sam's opinion, among the comments. Sam earns additional money in his spare time by robbing stores and dumpster diving. Cyrus and his crew, a local thug, are alerted by Sam's behavior. Riza, Cyrus's henchman, on the other hand, abuses Sam. Meanwhile, Sam meets Joe Smith, a handyman who repairs broken items to make money. After Riza and his men attack Sam, Joe intervenes to save the kid. He demonstrates an uncanny strength during the fight, leading Sam to believe that Joe is the fabled Samaritan. However, Joe dismisses the idea and asks Sam to keep his distance. Sam's persuasive attitude makes him befriend Joe, and the two bond over time. Joe admits to being Samaritan, but insists that his crime-fighting days are behind him. Elsewhere, Cyrus and his gang obtain a cargo of blackout bombs. Using the bombs, the group steals weapons and discovers Nemesis's hammer and mask that were lost in the fire years ago. Cyrus dons the mask and assumes the identity of Nemesis. He sparks an uprising among the city's oppressed and unhappy working-class citizens. With the evil nemesis threatening the town, everyone wonders whether his good counterpart, Samaritan, will make a return. However, Joe must come to terms with his past before attempting to save the city. Is Nemesis alive? After fighting Nemesis in the power plant, Samaritan fled into hiding, as the movie makes clear. Cyrus later comes across Nemesis's hammer and mask and sets out on an anarchist escapade. Nemesis's plot to destroy the city's power plant is what Cyrus wants to finish. As a result, the city would be in complete disarray, and Cyrus would guide them into a new era of global governance. Cyrus comes to the realization that he is the legendary hero of the past after a struggle with Joe. Cyrus kidnaps the kid knowing about Sam's relationship with Joe in an effort to entice the former superhero. Joe is hesitant to get back to battling criminals because of how his fight with his brother turned out. After finding out that Sam has been abducted by Cyrus, Joe travels to the plant to face Cyrus. A battle breaks out between Joe and Cyrus's goons. After defeating the conspirators, Joe gets ready to face Cyrus. Joe, however, is defeated by Cyrus after he wields Nemesis's hammer. Joe's downfall will come as a result of Cyrus's teasing over his image as a good guy. Joe finally gives in and admits the truth about that crucial night many years ago. Flashbacks show that during his battle with Nemesis, Joe was on the verge of dying by slipping into the fire. But the Samaritan cared for his brother and saved him. The kind deed, though, costs the Samaritan his life. As a result, Joe, rather than Samaritan, the superhero brother, is Nemesis, the bad brother. This. Is Cyrus defeated? The main antagonist of the movie, Cyrus, is a follower of Nemesis. Cyrus confesses to Sam that as a youngster, the supervillain had an impact on him, and he aspired to be like his hero. Cyrus has fully undergone a supervillain transformation once he finds Nemesis's hammer and mask. The entire city is in danger due to his evil scheme, and Joe is the only one who can defeat Cyrus. Joe must come to terms with the loss of his brother while they are engaged in their pivotal struggle because of the flood of flashbacks from his past. Does Joe become Samaritan? In the end, Joe saves the city, but when the police arrive, he stealthily leaves the area. Journalists approach Sam and interrogate him about the enigmatic person who rescued the city and him. Sam gets the opportunity to expose Joe's true identity and history as nemesis, but he decides against doing so. 
Sam states in his interview that the Good Samaritan is still alive and is watching over the citizens while residing among them. Joe repeats the same as he looks at Sam from within the crowd before leaving for the evening. The ending implies that Joe will attempt to fill the shoes of Samaritan and return to crime fighting after his experiences with Sam. Earlier, Joe explains to Sam that Nemesis wasn't evil and his methods were the need of the hour. He only harmed those who needed a wake-up call and was trying to save the citizens in his own way.